Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brainbean here again, back with another chair review video for you. Now today we're looking at the Vertigear PL4500. Now Vertigear offers a bunch of different chairs on their website. And one of the cool things they do have over there is a sizing tool. So you can actually go in and put in your height and weight and it will suggest a chair out of their portfolio that's gonna fit those specific specifications. That's exactly what I did when going into this review. So I put in my height and weight and basically came out at the PL4500. So that is why we're taking a look at this chair today. Now the PL4500 retails for about 380 bucks. So it's certainly not an inexpensive chair, but it does kind of fall right in the median range, I would say for upper level gaming chairs. Now in opening the chair up and actually assembling it and getting hands on with the components, it was immediately apparent that the PL4500 is leaps and bounds ahead of most of the chairs on the market. It's made with really quality materials and even the tools that they give you, most of the time you get like just a crappy Allen wrench. They actually give you a tool that has a proper grip on it that just makes putting the chair together so much easier. And this chair actually comes mostly assembled. Now what I mean by that is not necessarily like the backrest attached to the seat or anything like that but a lot of chairs will actually just throw all the screws in the box and everything, um, whereas this one actually had all of the screws already in where they go, so all you have to do is remove them and add in the components and put it in there. Makes it so much easier. It really is a big quality of life improvement when putting together a chair. And the quality of the chair goes far beyond just the assembly process. So the padding in the chair is made of a proprietary coffee fiber blend which makes the chair odor resistant and also makes it so that it dries out a lot quicker. And so that's more of a hygienic thing, which is really nice. Uh, and that actually allows this chair to be made with a soft, non-leather feeling material on the actual padding. So it feels almost more like a suede type feeling or sort of like the soft upholstery you might feel in a car seat. That's what you're gonna feel on this, which actually feels a little bit better on your body than a lot of these like polyurethane leather chairs that are out there. And you really don't see ones that have this sort of soft material. And that's largely due to that coffee fiber design. Now the chair is trimmed out with some polyurethane leather which does have an accented stitching that matches whichever color option you choose, which does look pretty nice. And this chair is offered in quite a few different colors. You can get it in a white accent, black on black, red, green, blue, and purple. So there's plenty of options to fit most setups out there. And as if those color options weren't enough, they're actually gonna be releasing a wireless RGB kit for this chair here in about the next month or so. I think it's like mid-May. And so you'll actually be able to change out the plastic padding that goes just under the headrest. And they're gonna have these RGB inserts that go in there so you can have even more RGB and have the chair tie in and pop with your setup. Is it unnecessary? Yes, but it's still pretty awesome. So in taking a look around the chair, obviously you guys can see that I'm sitting in it now. And as far as gaming chairs go, I mean, I feel like it's pretty comfortable. A lot of times the shape and size of these chairs is fairly similar all across the board, depending on whichever company you go with. But I do find that this chair has the a nice slope to it where your feet hang off so that your knees don't have like the all the blood cut off underneath your leg. And I like that where your shoulders rest into the seat here, is nice and wide enough to where it doesn't feel like it's like smushing you into it where some of these chairs can kind of really hug you into the seat it's a nice mixture of both so it kind of cradles your body but it doesn't smash it in which is nice and i think part of that is attributed to using the sizing tool to make sure you do get a chair that fits right for you so in terms of overall comfort i find the chair to be pretty comfortable to use now keep in mind it is on the firmer side, but it contours to your body in all the right places. So even though you don't sink into it, it's not uncomfortable to use this chair for long periods of time. Now moving on to the armrests now, one of my biggest complaints with most chairs is that even though just about every gaming chair is gonna give you three or four point armrests as far as being able to move them up and down and in and out and all kinds of different things, a lot of times they have a lot of play and wiggle room in them and they click around and they just don't feel solid. But on this Vertigear chair, they do feel very, very solid. And it has a really sturdy mechanism where a lot of times it's like just a crappy cheap plastic thing that kind of telescopes up and down. Whereas this is metal and it has a heavy bracket where you can actually hear it clicking in place 
as it locks in and there's no play there which is a huge plus for me because I do find that to be pretty annoying so overall the armrests are really great quality the only thing is they're not padded so keep that in mind but they do have a nice contour to them and it's sort of a rubberized sort of texture on the top so it's got a little bit of squish to it but only when you really mash into the armrest and of course, as you guys would expect, this chair does allow you to recline back. You can of course use the piston to move it up and down. You can lock it back. So if you want to rest back, but you don't want to, you know, have your legs pushing you back, of course, that's something you can do as well. So it does have sort of all the main options for customization that you would expect from one of these chairs. Of course, you can do the old PewDiePie where you can lay the chair all the way back. Another thing that I really like about this chair, speaking of the reclining mechanism, that I've never seen before on any gaming chair that I've taken a look at, and I've reviewed damn near 20 so far, is that the little lever where you actually go to pull it to recline the chair back, usually it's just like a little piece of metal that sticks out from the actual reclining mechanism. But in this chair, they actually have it built into the seat itself. And so there's actually a little slit there with like a plastic protector around it where it comes out and it just makes the chair look much nicer. And they take that same design and put it into the two metal pieces that hold the seat in that go into the base. Again, if you look at a lot of chairs, you can see on the side where the screws actually go in to hold it in place. And there's usually like a plastic cap you have to install over that to kind of hide it. And on these Vertigear chairs, you actually slide those supports into the chair and then put the bolts in from the outside, which makes it look much cleaner. And it's just an overall nicer aesthetic, which is a nice quality feature to the chair that I've never seen in any other gaming chair. And as we work our way down into the base of the chair, I like that it has an all metal base. Sometimes these chairs have like a really heavy duty PVC plastic base, which gets the job done, but it makes me worried that they bend over time. Whereas this is a nice, really heavy metal base. It's got some nice little Vertigear logos embossed into it, which is cool. And the casters come with a color coordinated plastic accent that matches the color of your chair, which is always a cool little touch as well. So moving on to the pillows, every gaming chair has got them. And if you guys have seen any of my chair reviews, nine times out of 10, when it comes to the lumbar pillows, I just throw them away. I think most of the time they're useless. They're typically shaped like speed bumps for your back and they're made out of a really hard material that almost always just sucks to use and feels uncomfortable. Now, both of the Vertigear pillows are made out of the same soft material that is lining the actual uh, padding on the chair, which is nice. It's got the little Vertigear logo, which is cool. It's not too intrusive or in your face. Uh, and in the case of this chair's lumbar pillow, I don't think I'm personally gonna use it. It's not as hard as a lot of ones out there, but for me, I just don't really find them all that useful. Where it does get interesting though, is in the actual head pillow. Now, again, it's wrapped in that same soft material. It's got the Vertigear logo on it, but this thing is made out of memory foam. I've never seen a memory foam head pillow with a chair, uh, with the exception of the $1,300 chair that I reviewed that is made out of memory foam. Uh, but this one, for this price, it's a nice look. I actually opened it up for you guys. You can see that memory foam inside. Um, and it's kind of got a nice cooling property to it as well. It's a really nice, just again, like quality addition that I'm seeing with this chair that a lot of chairs that are around the $350 and $400 price point, they just don't give you these quality extras that I'm seeing with this chair. So overall, to wrap it up, I'm extremely impressed with this chair. I mean, as you guys can see, just from the solid construction of the armrests not wiggling around, or the hidden design where the bolts go on the sides of the chairs, or even the memory foam pillow, all these things just are nice quality improvements that many chair manufacturers don't include but still charge the same price for their chair. So I have to applaud Vertigear on creating a much more quality product for the same price. And really guys, I mean, I've, I've reviewed a bunch of chairs at this point. I think I probably said that like four or five times in this video, but it's true. Uh, and this definitely ranks at least in my top three of chairs that I've reviewed ever. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Let me know in those comments down below what you think about the PL4500 or what you think about Vertigear chairs in general. I do plan on checking out another one from them here in the near future because I was so impressed with this one. I reached out to them and I said, hey, I wanna see 
what else you guys have to offer so we're definitely going to be checking that out as well but of course guys give this video a like if you enjoyed it to show your support and if you're new here on the channel i'd love to see you stick around as i've got a lot more videos like this coming for you in the near future so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me i'm going to leave some links down in the description below for you if you guys want to check these chairs out but as always guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one